This is a short tutorial on how to create figures in Stickmotion using a pre-release beta version of Stickmotion 1.5. Most of the features shown in this video, however, will still be applicable to earlier versions of Stickmotion. Many of the screen controls, though, will look a little different. Let's start by pressing the button with the spanner in it to open the figure editor. In the middle of the screen, you will see a small orange dot. This is the anchor point for your new figure. Later, when animating, you will drag your figure around the screen using this anchor point. There are two buttons towards the bottom left corner of the screen. These toggle the editor between Modify Mode and Build Mode. In Build Mode, a plus symbol will be displayed in the middle of the anchor point. In Modify Mode, the anchor point will be solid. In Build Mode, you can place your finger on the anchor point and drag to add a new item to your figure. In this instance, I'm adding a line to the figure. Each line is terminated by a small red dot known as a handle. As per the anchor point, these will display a plus symbol whenever the editor is in build mode. You may also place your finger on handles and drag to add further items. Toggle back into modify mode at any time to alter the items that you've already added. Items may be moved, rotated and scaled simply by dragging their handles. You can tap on a handle to select an item. Selected items will be shown in blue. To remove a selected item, press the red button towards the lower right corner of the screen. Hold your finger down on a handle for a second and then release to display a selection popover. This allows you to select a branch, that is, all items that were added to the currently selected item, or alternatively, to select all items in your figure. The delete button may then be used to remove multiple items at once. Alternatively, you may use the options menu at the top of the screen to perform the same actions. Now, there are two types of items in stick motion, flexible and static, and you may toggle between these two types by using the buttons at the bottom left corner of the screen. When animating, flexible items will have handles that may be moved. Static items, on the other hand, will not have handles and may not be moved. Whilst building figures, flexible items will be black with a red handle and static items will be grey with a grey handle. When animating, both will have the same colour. Items may also have one of four different styles lines, circles, images, or mouse. The thickness of a line or circle may be adjusted using the slider at the bottom of the screen. To change the style of an item, first select it and then press one of the four style buttons. Upon selecting the image style, an image selection popover will appear. Here, you may select from a range of different images that are included in stick motion. Alternatively, you may press the button with a picture of the flower on it to import your own images from the camera roll. In this case, I'm going to select one of the heads. When working with an image, the sliders at the bottom of the screen may be used to rotate the image, move it left and right, and up and down. The blue button with the two figures in it may also be used to flip or mirror the image. Finally, mouths are a special item style. Stick motion comes with a wide variety of mouths that may be added to figures. Whilst animating, it is possible to associate sounds with figures. When automatic lip syncing is turned on, the mouths will automatically move in a realistic manner along with the sounds. Just like regular images, mouths may be moved up and down, rotated, and moved left and right. Like images, this allows for precise positioning. This will become more apparent when I demonstrate the creation of a knight later on. Let's now take a look at creating a simple stick figure. I'll start by dragging my finger downwards from the anchor point to create a body. In this instance, I've accidentally created a static item. It's shown in grey. To make it flexible, I'll click on the button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now I'll continue to drag out from the handles and anchor point 
to create the arms and legs. And finally, I'll create the head by changing the style of the last line to a circle. You can zoom in and out and move the figure around using two fingers. At the bottom right hand corner of the screen is a button with the thumbs up symbol on it. You can press that button to toggle in and out of test mode. In test mode, you can try out your character and see how well it is moving. When you are happy with your figure, exit test mode and press the green button at the top right hand corner of the screen to save it. Pick a location from the four tabs at the top of the popover, type in a suitable name and then press return.